Hello, welcome to JasonSoft Training Channel. Ever wondered what to do in a cardiac emergency? Understanding and applying cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, can make a life-saving difference. This technique is designed to keep blood flowing, especially to the brain and other vital organs in individuals experiencing cardiac arrest. In a situation where someone is in cardiac distress, the first step is to call 911 immediately. If the person is unresponsive, without a pulse, and not breathing, CPR becomes vital. Guidance from the emergency dispatcher can also be immensely helpful if you're unsure about the steps. So how does one perform CPR? First, position the person on their back and tilt their head back. Check for breathing and chest movement. Next, feel for a pulse on their neck. If there is no breathing and no pulse, CPR must be initiated. The main goal of CPR is to keep the blood flowing. To achieve this, place your hands one over the other, right in the center of the person's chest. Firmly press down, delivering two compressions per second. Aim for a depth of at least two inches using the heel of your hand. People trained in CPR can also perform rescue breaths. After every 15 or 20 compressions, provide two rescue breaths. This is done by pinching the person's nose and blowing into their mouth until the chest rises and falls. If you're not trained, stick to hands-on CPR as advised by the 911 dispatchers. Keep performing CPR until the person responds or emergency responders arrive. If the patient is an infant, use two fingers or both thumbs for compressions. If another person trained in CPR is present to deliver rescue breaths, the compression rate should be 2 per second or 100 to 120 per minute, with a slightly shallower depth than for adults. A CPR is an accessible life-saving skill, and you can learn it through local certification classes. Remember, a prompt and effective response can make a world of difference in a cardiac emergency. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this crucial emergency response technique. Don't forget to subscribe for more essential emergency care information.